So a couple things before we start this video. Oh, first regarding the kit overhaul. Oh, I had a pair of gloves, gloves I ordered, er, but they were too small, so I had to send them back. Like, hopefully I can get them exchanged for a larger pair. And if you hadn't noticed, got a couple new items. Ums, ums in the form of the belt and the circlet. Uh, uh, the new items for this kit will, will get their own video. Oh, I'm just waiting for a few things to arrive eh, before I do a full overview of, of the new things that's in this kit as well as a What's in My Kit 2021 video. Oh, um... Uh, secondly, I have not forgotten about those of you who enjoyed my LARP box opening videos. Who's, uh, who's, I am at the moment taking a step back from LARP box. Uh, so for now, I will return at some point, and when uh, LARP box returns, uh, it will not be alone, and it's going to be a pretty big thing that I'm planning. And, uh, a few of you uh, that I'm friends with on social media, I may have already told about this plan, and but I have big plans and for that in the future. Er, but with those out of the way, roll the intro. Adventures, Fred here, and welcome to LARP Saga, uh, the show that explores anything and everything live-action role-playing. Now, LARP Erp, has come a long way in terms, in terms of prop construction, and gone are the days of, of duct tape and pool noodles, and we have companies forging high-quality works of art in terms of, of arms, armor, and props. Ups, uh, ups. However, some props get s themes get swept out, uh, out of the way uh, in terms of popularity and therefore uh, don't get the love they deserve. Uh, and in this video I'm going to share with you my uh, favorite prop themes that I feel are underrated and don't get the love they deserve. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive into it. Kicking off the list, we have dragons. Um, because what else would you expect at the top of the list coming from me? But in honesty, uh, this wouldn't even be on the list if it weren't for how hard it is to find really good dragon-themed LARP gear. Uh, um, uh, which is why uh, the Dragon's LARP box was a wonderful thing for me because uh, it, it's pretty much it's ridiculously hard to find LARP gear that's dragon theme that aren't isn't armor or weapons, and, and some of the items from the Dragon's Life box they're still used in this kit. Moving on, the second theme that I feel is really underrated in the LARP com prop community is vampires. There's now granted vampire LARPs don't require a lot of props. Ops to operate, but a good selection of props can bring in players into the experience. And said, I would love to see more thought put into costume pieces. For example, the Ankh pendant or Goth finger armor that came in the Vampire's LARP box. Those were phenomenal. Oh, and I remember uh, er, my my uh, vampire game that I started out in, in, in putting some pretty solid effort into the props and uh, set dressing for at least the Elysium. That was very well done. At the midway point, and, uh, we have monster hunting tools. With the success of The Witcher and shows like Supernatural, I'm surprised that monster hunting equipment and for or LARPing hasn't taken off faster. Er, 
And sure, you have the swords, the Geralt inspired harnesses, armor, etc. But what I'm talking about is specialized tools. Tools like a fantasy version of the uh, trunk of Dean Winchester's Chevy Impala. Uh, featuring traditional weapons, but uh, having specialty weapons and tools for taking out very specific types of monsters. Which I think uh, would be a uh, huge boon to the LARP prop community. Almost to the end, we have Dark Artifacts. That's from Sauron's ring to Voldemort's Horcruxes, fantasy is not sh without its share of dark and evil artifacts. Uh, so, so why is it that LARP doesn't have any darker evil artifacts that are not Lovecraftian in nature? Uh, granted, I can see why uh, the uh, people avoid such artifacts because of religious undertones, but Elder Scrolls did some pretty solid dark artifacts pretty well. Oh, and, uh, and, uh, and they are some of the most popular quests in the Skyrim community. E, 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 so, uh, so why not LARPing do something similar? And finally, we have magic. Like, magic has been a, a major part of many a fantasy LARP, er, but, but sadly it, ha it is exceedingly hard er, to find props with a magical nature. Er, granted, some companies these are stepping up to fill in this niche with their creations. Uh, the best example I can think of of and have seen is uh, this Spanish company. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, so I'm just going to put the name down here on the screen. The uh, link will be in the description below. Oh, oh, but, uh, but, but uh, uh, they have designed uh, some amazingly detailed throwing projectiles. Those that are not straight up throwing knives. They are made to be uh, the, uh, the magical in nature and cater to a wide variety of different types of magic users. And best of all, their purpose is left ambiguous as to what they do. Overall, the, the, creator, the crafters of the LARP community are an ingenious and creative lot uh, that have, have made many innovations in their designs and have uh, much to be proud of, of, but I hope they keep pushing what is possible forward to create even more outlandish and cool designs. But with that, we're going to wrap up. Uh, but let me know uh, down below what product categories would you love to see get more love in the comments down below. And if you have any examples of the of props from the themes I've described here, also share those in the comments below. Oh, uh, oh, um, oh, and if you are new around here, be sure to like, eek, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss uh, this, uh, this, the content I'm putting out here. You're, you're, uh, you're, but, uh, but before I let you go, oh, I want to make one more announcement. And, uh, some of my friends on social media who watch this channel already know what I'm talking about, but now I'm letting all you amazingly beautiful people know. I got a 3D printer. Uh, uh, don't get too excited. I still got to upgrade some things to make it, it work properly. E, but uh, you can bet there will be more uh, 3D printing stuff on this channel in the future. Uh, and if you want to uh, ooh, um, ooh, uh, follow me on social media, uh, uh, support the channel, or uh, contact me directly, you can find all that and more at my Linktree page down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the Trail of Adventure.